Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> thank you. I kind of want to pitch in a little bit here. It doesn't doesn't feel fair now that I've gotten a treat that I'm not going to do it. So let's pay one here. What is it? Pay a diamond. Flick the lever to get a trick or a treat. Flick the second lever to get an afterlife member. We get a treat. Okay. And who do we get as our treat recipient? Hugh Boo. <laughs> All right, Hugh Boo gets a treat from us. I guess I'll have to get working on that here. You know, I just realized I actually haven't even said hello yet. Hi, how are you guys doing? It's it's your boy G to the P coming at you live from the afterlife. Okay, anyway, um, it's been a while, guys. It's been like four months since I've actually made a video here on the afterlife server, um, but I've been busy. I have been really, really busy this past week. Uh, I got to working on making a enchanted forest, or just like a forest in general. And uh, have a look at this. Yeah. So you guys remember how there was an open field here a while ago, and where the games district used to be. I took the liberty of adding a forest here. So this has taken me the past two weeks I've been working on. It. It's still not 100% complete. It's, I'd say this is at about a 30% completion, maybe 35%. There's uh, still a lot of the little detail stuff that I have to add. But for the most part, um, this main starting area going from Artorvian's place right there all the way up has been detailed and completed. So let's, uh, let's have a bit of a look. So the archway, this was built by Blonde Skunk in the games district. And if you remember, it used to be... Uh, further down. So this whole thing is actually built in the air. So if I break into there, you can see, look at all that. That's the original pathway. So I built an entire platform above it. And if we head on through here, there's a little bit more uh, decoration. We've got some waterfalls, a nice little pergola thing, and uh, the archway. So we can head on through here, and then we are revealed into the main games district. Uh, we've got some nice little flags and such, and the pathway leads all the way down into the games. So this side looks a little bit bare, and that's because I haven't yet finished putting all the trees in. Uh, we've got a little bit of a cave system that we're going to work on eventually, and you can see the whole thing is hollow underneath. And I actually built this intentionally so that we could have a cave network. Um, and we've actually already started on this, so this little portion here actually connects to Ash's Golf minigame. I believe it connects to the fifth hole, and then you can see right there, yeah, the Frigid Burrows, hole number five. Alright, so there's another pathway. We were on to the left side of the game's district tower. Um, I have not yet done the foliage, the grass, and the, le the, uh, the flowers and such over on this area, but we've got a nice little campsite overlooking the rest of the spawn. Now, just below us here is actually a cave network, which we'll head into in just a second here. Um, the pathway winds and twirls all the way down to here, which follows sort of an embankment and, uh, and then a bridge, which connects back to the market area. Now, this bridge is a very, very similar replica of that bridge over there, except I built it on a diagonal which is a lot of a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Building diagonally um, certainly wasn't the easiest thing, but uh, I'm glad it it looks looks similar to it. Not exactly, but you know it's close enough. If we continue on the path, though, this here is the cave system which I was talking about. So I went ahead and slabbed and stared this whole thing. It took me about three hours, three to six hours. Um, in total, like placing all the stone and everything, and it looks phenomenal. So on this side, you can see a lot more of the stalagmites, no, stalactites. Those are the things that come from the ceiling downwards. It's unfortunate we don't yet have any 1.17 snapshots, and then I could actually put some real stalactites in there. Now if we come back, so we're on the games district side, uh, if we go to the left of this here, there's a pathway which leads all the way down this direction towards the golf mini game by Ash. And uh, then it connects into the newly developed sprawling forest. 
And uh, this pathway, which continues all the way down there, eventually that'll connect up to the circus, which is all tied into the backside of both Ash's game and this forest. And then you can see, too, that my house is also connected uh, to that path. All right, and one final path that I haven't yet shown off is this one here. It follows in behind the wood shop, Cody's wood shop, and it follows all the way down like so. And then uh, this pathway goes up top there, and then it connects to my mushroom house, which uh, I've also sort of added a pathway into the whole forest from my place and decorated in the theme of Halloween because it's, it's Halloween. Yeah. All right, well, you know what? I'm tired of talking, so let's get to doing some building. We're gonna build a staircase that connects from the top area all the way to the bottom area. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, let's get to building. Okay, GP, I have been summoned uh, for some redstone stuff. Yes, you were the only one available. Justin wasn't uh, wasn't up to the task today. Right, okay. So, Buff, I have a, I have a, I have a task for you. Um, this wall here, you see this nice little wall? I do indeed. All right, well, you see this shulker box? I also see this shulker box. All right, I'd like you to turn this wall into a water bottle dispenser fountain. Okay, yeah, I I can do that. I, you know, do you think it's you really important to stay hydrated? I think this is a great idea for the server. Exactly. So when people are running around here, you know, they'll they can just come up to it and go click, and grab a bottle. And also, actually, I had another idea too. So you see this cauldron here? Yep. So what I'd like to do, because um, you know, the whole inside of this area is actually hollow. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> inside it's all hollow. Um, if you could, could you make it so that you sort of throw a hidden item and grab a water ball at the same time, and then like a door will open up at your feet and you could like go into it? Would that be something? You I can do? am your guy. I, I, you know, there's a guy on this server that's been kind of taking my, my redstone deals away, and I think I really need to get back into the business. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a, this is great. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you can do it, and uh, I'll leave you to it. I got some other stuff to go go do around the area, but uh, yeah, let me know when it's finished. I, I will let you know. All right. Time for the grand reveal. <sighs> Look at that. So. Yeah, I think this looks really, really awesome. Puff is working on the water fountain at the moment. Uh, but this is just a simple pattern um, using some of the new nether blocks. Obviously, they're not really new anymore, but I think this uh, this works pretty well. So we got some uh, sea lanterns underneath there, and then some shroom lights like that. And the wood is actually shaped in, like, or is, is facing in two different ways. So we got ones facing sideways and ones facing up and down. And it's really nice, the whole texture actually fits really, really well together. Uh, it looks quite seamless, but it, everything sort of looks like it's feeding into that one central spot. A little bit in the background, I also did some work on a UHC monument. So this platform that was all uh, empty before was is now gonna be the home of our UHC monument. So this is gonna commemorate the past and present UHC winners and victors. Um, Past one was actually Jay and Runic, and uh, so it's going to have like season one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way, however many we have for this present season of Afterlife. Um, there's a little bit more I got to add to it. I got to add a stone sword up at the top. So let me get to working on that here just very quickly. <laughs> GP, 
GP. Oh, hey, Puff. Uh, so I made your water dispenser. Look at look at this thing. Ice cold water for the masses. Now the thing is, uh, I need to show you how to load it. Right now, it just doesn't really give you any water. Okay. But that's cool. You I love it. Look at that. Yeah, I, I spent a, a bit too much time with armor stand books, but hey. Anyways, uh, see this button kind of hidden right here? Oh yeah, yeah. Press it. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's cool. So, so I, I fill that in there with the water bottles? Yeah, so... I just filled it with a little bit, and now if you go to the dispenser for the actual water, you, you'll you get it. There you go. Oh, fresh, ice-cold water. Yeah, and now you can stay hydrated, and um, I, think, I think me and you should open a business installing these all over the server. Honestly, I'd be up for it. So you're going to be the, the, the head of business and I'm going to be the, the kind of the guy that installs them. So I, I'll be marketing you be what? The guy who installs them? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, how do I... I guess I'll have to come up with a little bit of a marketing scheme then. A marketing scheme? I do remember... Uh, you've seen the greatest <laughs> marketing I've seen before. <laughs> Brainwashing. Uh, I mean, marketing. Uh, advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so stay hydrated and yippity do. Fresh water is coming to you via Puffing Fish HQ, and I'm G to the Poo. Woo! What? Wait, what? Now it's time to head to Hugh Boo's. Uh, we gotta give him that uh, that trick or treat gift that we we uh, we picked out his name for. I got him a couple of unique items. Well, not really too unique. Uh, there are a couple of things that I had just sort of lying around my place. Figured I'd stuff him into a chest and, and pass it over to him. All right, so there we go. Enjoy all the treats inside. Secret treater. Happy Halloween to the spookiest member on Afterlife. And then there's a third sign because I ran out of important things to say. And so these are the couple things that we got him. Uh, some diamond swords. One of my, my best pickaxes, efficiency five. Uh, we have skeleton skulls, the whole nine yards, and a creeper tag spawn egg. Because Mr. Who, Hugh Boo is one of the... Like I said, one of the creepiest or spookiest members here on Afterlife. All right, folks, that's going to do it for your boy G to the P here on the Afterlife SMP. Got a lot done today. Looking forward to doing a little bit more at our main base in the future. And this right behind me is the tunnel to our place. I got working on this. I finished this up. Uh, it's kind of in the theme of our jungle. So we'll take a look at some of the new projects that I got to working on behind the scenes there next episode. But until then, I will see you all next time. Have yourselves a great day, everybody.